All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x is equal to 80. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start with three to the power of x is equal to 80. And now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log 80. Now, we want to find a way to, we want to find the value of x, right? And to get x, it's hard to do it when it's in exponent form. So we want to find a way to bring x down to make it a real term. And to do that, there is an important property of logarithms that states that if there's something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 of b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log three to the power of x and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log three is equal to log 80. Now from here, I'm gonna rewrite 80 here as eight times 10. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. And this is another one of the exponent or sorry logarithmic properties. There is also log a over b. And if I have something in this form, this is the same thing as log a minus log b. So now going back to the problem, we have log a times 10 and we can use this property. So we can think of eight as a and 10 as b. So this is gonna equal x log three is equal to log of eight plus log of 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is simply equal to one. So I get x times log three is equal to log eight plus log 10, or sorry, just one. And now remember, we wanna isolate x, so the only thing left to do is to get rid of this log three by dividing both sides by log three. So in this cancel out, and I get x is equal to log a plus one over log three. Now log eight is equal to 0 0.90309 and log three is equal to 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 0 0.90309 plus 1 over 0 0.4771. And this is equal to 1.90309 over 0 0.4771. Now 1.90309 over 0 0.4771 is equal to 3.9889. So x is equal to 3.9889. Now, the only thing left to do is to check if my solution here is correct. So the original equation was right here, three to the power of x is equal to 80. 
and my solution is x is equal to 3.9889. So if I plug this in for x into my original equation, I get 3 to the power of 3.9889 is equal to 80. Now 3.9889 is really close to 4, right? So let's first find the value of 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. Now 3.9889 is a little less than 4, meaning we can estimate that it's going to be around 1 less than 81. So it's safe to say that 3 to the power of 39889, sorry, 3 to the power of 3.9889 is close to the value of 80. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 3 minus 8 is equal to 0. So how most people solve this equation is they add 8 on both sides. So they get x to the power of 3 is equal to 8. And then they take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root of x to the power of 3 is x, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So then they get x equals 2, which is a solution to this equation. But actually, there are more than one solution to this equation. So I'm going to rewrite my equation here, x to the power of 3 minus 8 equals 0. And now I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And then now I'm going to use the formula a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this turned into x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. So now I get two equations. I get x minus 2 equals 0 and x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, I get x equals 2, which was a solution that we already got. But now see on top of this, we have a whole other equation with two more solutions because it's a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So I get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4, all, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns into negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus negative 12 over 2 which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 12i over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 6i. So these are the two more solutions to this equation.